So in this video, I want to talk about proactive reactive. And proactive reactive is something uh, that I wrote about in my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. And something that people have been asking me about from my latest videos, because I've been referencing it. So let's just talk about it here a little bit and give you a deep understanding. Now this is really important. This is super important. This literally changed my life, changed my clients' lives, changed my coaches' lives. When you nail this, you start changing faster and faster and faster. Here's the, the problem. If you're not nailing this and you're out doing the work, you could actually be slowing yourself down or making the problem worse. So it's really important you understand this because this can set you back if you're on the reactive side. So pay attention to this video. So what is proactive reactive? First thing we gotta understand is what reactive is and why it is so damaging to your success and why it holds you back and that can actually push you backwards. I've had clients literally come to me after 10 years of work with other coaches and they're actually worse than when they started. And we start getting them proactive, working with the tension properly and the feeling properly, they start actually finally growing for the first time. But we have to undo a lot of what was done to make that happen. So let's dive in. What is reactive? Well, reactive is when you are reactive to the tension or the energy of the environment. You're not in the now. So what happens is you want something so bad that you're constantly thinking about the goal and you're rushing through the work because you don't really want to do it to get to the goal. Now that sounds kind of weird. Let's talk about that a little bit. You go to the gym, you want to build weights. And we're going to talk about women in a minute. We're going to relate this back, but this is the easiest analogy. I want to lift weights and I'm at the gym and I want to grow some big muscles, right? And I go to the gym and I'm reactive to the gym. I just want the muscles. I don't want to be in that gym. So I'm pumping the weight out as fast as humanly possible. I'm not focusing on technique. I'm staring in the mirror. I'm doing this. I'm not actually in the now feeling those weights and really feeling each muscle activate and being present with the feeling of the activity. I'm too worried about the goal. And therefore I'm constantly getting, in a sense, kicked out of the now. Okay, and that's that's literally what's happening. I'm going up into my head and I'm thinking too much, disconnected from my body where the muscles actually grow. And that's huge. That could actually get you injured. Okay, another one is sometimes people put on a lot of weight because they want to get their goal and they put on too much weight and they're trying to force it and they end up hurting themselves. Or how about too little weight? Because you really don't want to be there and you put on light weights all the time and you're barely feeling anything and like, I just got to get this done. Again, in every case, you're reactive to the now, you're reactive to the moment, you're reactive to the feeling you don't want to feel, and you're running away from it. What's proactivity then? Proactivity is you're in the now with the process, feeling it fully, and you're embodying it. You're taking your time. It's almost like becoming meditatively one with your growth, with your exercise, and that's what makes it work. Think about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He would talk about how he would get really present with the weightlifting when he lifted. He'd feel every bit of it. He'd feel all the muscles contract. He'd feel every little muscle work, and he'd work it slowly, and he'd feel those things. Or, or if he got ballistic, it was after he got that feeling down, and he would nail it. And that's what made him Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's why he could feel his body and really express with it, and most of the other guys were more or less meatheads because they were disconnected, listening to some music, distracted, thinking about other things. So do you want to be like Arnold was back in the day or do you want to be like one of these meatheads? And I want to be present with the tension. That's when you are the most attractive. So let's talk about what that looks like. So I want to be the most present possible. I want to be with the now. It's not about the goal. Throw the fucking goal out. Like get it, pick it, know it, look at it every day. But then when you're practicing, throw it out and get in the moment be in the now with your activity and slow down and feel it. And before you go fast, slow down to go fast, slow down, nail all the feeling, and then you can start going faster and faster and faster. And that's proactivity. That's what makes everything work. Okay. So when I'm out here flirting with girls, I'm out here talking to girls. I'm out here saying hi to people. I'm doing my practices, my socialization practices. What I want to do is be present with these people, not thinking about the future. Like I need to get five girlfriends by next month or I need to, I need to get laid, I haven't been laid in forever. You're, that's all in the future. In the moment, there's just you and the person you're talking to. And if you learn to relax into your body, feel your body, calm down, open your heart, be comfortable, and really be present with that person, that's being proactive. Now, why don't people just naturally do that? Why, why, do, they, why do they go out and they think, I gotta think about what to say, I gotta get it right, because that's all in the future, right? I'm thinking about what to say. I'm planning my next sentence. I'm planning my next thought. I'm planning my next routine. I'm planning my next pattern. Whatever I'm going to do with this person versus just being present and really feeling this person and letting them see you feel them and be present with them. 
Why do they do that? Because they feel their insecurities. As I'm talking to this beautiful girl over here, and I feel my insecurity and my nervousness and my pain and my sadness come up, my loneliness come up, it hurts, doesn't it? It hurts a lot. And so I don't wanna feel all that shit, so I'm gonna go into my planning mode. I'm gonna figure something out, how to get past this. I'm gonna think about what to say to get her validation, to get her love, to get her to like me, to get control. And when I get all that, I will feel safe again. Well, the truth is, is that will never ever work. The key is to get in the moment and when you feel that pain, you ride it like the fucking surfer rides a wave. And as that pain well swells up, you ride it even more and you hold on. And pretty soon that pain starts to turn into excitement. It starts to turn into fun. It starts to turn into turn on. That's when it actually transmutes. Because if you're willing to feel it fully, this is the revealing process. When you're willing to feel it fully, it changes. It shifts. It, it processes from your body. And that's what you want to do. So that's what proactive is. It's being fully present in the moment. I'm gonna give you one more example. I've used this one a million times. Hey, really quick, if you are loving this video, you're getting some value out of it, make sure to like, make sure to share, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment. This stuff really helps us with the algorithm. The, the YouTube AI helps us to get more viewers, which helps us to grow the channel, which allows me to bring you more awesome content. So if you haven't smashed that like button, smash it now. With that said, let's continue. And it's a simple example and it'll make it the point across. You're walking through a bar, you got a bottle of beer, you're, you think you're cool, you're looking cool, and you're passing a bunch of cute girls and accidentally you drop the bottle and it shatters everywhere and they all start laughing, people start pointing. What do you do? Do you sit there and freak out and run and try to run away? Do you try to clean it up really fast and throw it away because you feel bad, you feel guilty? Or do you just laugh at yourself with them? Do you own it? Do you stop and you go, yep, I just did that. And then, and then you bow to the beautiful ladies, yeah. you smile at them, and they laugh and then you walk over and start talking to them because you're okay with being seen you're okay with being embarrassed and you can laugh at yourself because you have strong self-esteem and that's what this works all about it's really about you learning to love you and that's what proactivity is about it moves you through the tension rides it like a surfer rides a wave in that perfect balance not too far forward not too far back and as the, the waves get bigger you get more powerful and then you come out the other side a solid best version of yourself you begin to believe in yourself it's not about the women guys it's about you becoming proactive with you learning to love yourself and having the best life possible and then these amazing women show up in your life because you are the prize you're providing value and these women want to be around you man and the truth is is you'll be so happy you can be picky you don't need every girl you can get the girl that's just right for you the woman that's just right for you and that's what it's really about so hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, hit that like button, like I said earlier, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, and make sure to comment. It really helps us to grow the channel, it helps us to bring you more awesome content. So if you're really loving this video, make sure to check out my previous video I did on the Courage Journal. We used to call it the Tension Journal, and uh, there'll be a link to that somewhere in here. That's a powerful tool for developing your relationship to proactivity and reactivity. Getting rid of your reactivity and developing your relationship to proactivity. It's a conscious process. It's powerful. Make sure to get started. And make sure to put a comment in that one too because I wanna know if you guys want me to create an actual tension journal. And if you do, that's where I'm looking to see who's interested. Now, with that said, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, make sure to comment. All that helps us with the YouTube AI and helps us to grow the channel. And the bigger the channel grows, the more great content, Anthony and I can bring you. Just want to keep bringing you awesome content to help you guys create the best life possible. Now, with that said, remember only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.